what is up guys your doomsday here and today we are back again with another video and this match we're gonna be doing is going some bot lane whooping power ringo and that's actually a hero that i've never played on this channel i know now during the draft there's a series of unfortunate events i started off going to a match thinking that i wanted some grumshaw top lane gameplay but that got banned off and then i was like okay i'll grab some black feather because that was my next hero that i wanted but that got picked up by the enemy then I was like, you know what, after I played that utility glaive build with the Stormcrown Aftershock, I was like, I gotta give Weapon Power Glaive a shot. That gets picked up by my team. And then I was thinking about something fun to play in bot lane. So I was about to do Weapon Power Vox, but then they picked that. And then I just started to think what other bot laners are there. I was like, there's Kinetic, Kestrel, but I've already gotten those gameplays, so I want something new. So here we are with Ringo. Now Ringo actually is not that bad. Like, Ringo's damage like him is really, really good from what I've seen, but... The only issue is getting to that stage where you get enough items. Since to be doing, like, to dish out damage like crazy with Ringo, you need about three items. The build is, um, Sorrow Blade, Bone Saw, Double Monocle. And once you start getting those monocles, you can deal so much damage with your autos. But the only issue is that you gotta get enough gold and get to the late game to actually get there. So we'll see who we're laning against. I think it's Black Feather. Should be. That'd make the most sense. I have no idea where he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, there's a Lance? Aw, uh, dang. That Blackfeather has CP buff too. Dang. That kind of sucks. There's two of them down here. Yeah, I'm gonna just dip. Now, what honestly, what I was looking to do was to pressure Blackfeather early, since that's probably his weakest stage of the game. Because once a Blackfeather reaches level 6 and level 8 with their power spikes, there is no way a Ringo can 1v1. And that's actually why I was super hesitant to pick Ringo, because Ringo onto Blackfeather is such a bad matchup. Like, this is a really big disadvantage. And the only advantage that I have is this early game when Blackfeather can't do too much. So, like, right now I need to try and pressure him. Hopefully Glaive comes down here. Maybe we can... he can get a nice afterburn. He can go into that bush up there. We have a cam inside there. I mean, there's no way Blackfeather's gonna come out this far. Let's see if I can... Is Glaive gonna come? Glaive? Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh, that was kind of close. If Blackfeather would've gotten his A ability up again, he probably could've killed me, actually. Now, I don't know why the Glaive didn't move into the bush right over here, because we have a cam in here, so Blackfeather wouldn't have been able to see him anyways. No oh, fortress is sure. Dang. I wonder if I, I want to get this. Oh wait, dang. <laughs> I wanted that Benin. Okay, it's fine. I can get my heavy steel now. So that'll be a good shop. Looks like our saw is not doing too well in top lane. But that kill is really good because that puts me a decent amount ahead of Black Feather. Like, the worst thing you could do with a Blackfeather in bot lane is go even, because Blackfeather's early game is probably his weakest, especially if he's going CP. Because once he reaches level 6 and has his ult, he can 1v1 me super easily. And then once he reaches level 8, he gets the extra range on his B ability, so he can outpoke me even. Yeah, he's going CP, so... Gotta watch out for that. Oh gosh, I just butchered that camp. <laughs> what was- I meant to place inside the bush. Zarden gonna vanguard me? That was kind of late. It's fun. Okay. I want to try and pressure him. I know he doesn't have flask since he used it earlier. Oh, I just missed that. You'd be surprised how much harder it is to talk and less hit at the same time. Like, when I'm not making a video, I do so much better with less hits. That was some nice damage. I'm trying to use my perk against him, because whenever I last see these minions, I get the guaranteed crit shot. Oh, okay. I get the guaranteed crit shot, so I want to see if I can get him with that. Nice. That's some good damage. Oh, he just got flashed back up. Okay. 
Oh, Lance is back. Yeah, I'm good. I have actually. If this is Black Feather, we might be able to kill one of these guys. Oh, wait, never mind. They have a fortress too. Ah, get me out of here. Okay. Got out of that. So now Blackfeather's level 6, which is pretty scary for me, because level 6 Blackfeather versus Ringo is not the best. And I don't even have that big of a lead on Blackfeather too, so it's not... I'm not really going to be looking to 1v1 him. Like, if I want to fight this Blackfeather, I'm going to need a teammate around, or I need it to be a team fight or something. Okay. Let's see if oh gosh, I walked right into that. What am I doing? Uh, actually, Glaive is still here. Oh, I'm lagging a bit. What is this Glaive up to? Is he just chilling there? Okay. Yo, Glaive, save me. Nice. Okay. That was good. That was good. So that's pretty much what I have to do. Like, I would never go for that fight if it was just me and Blackfeather. But since I teammates around, it's alright. I should be able to get this turret here now, because we got two kills. Looks like our top lane's also struggling. I'm gonna recall. Actually, I'm gonna get this wave first, and then I'm gonna recall. I can get my Sorrow Blade now whenever I shop, so I'll be good. Oh god, I gotta clear this before Blackfeather gets back. Nice. Because if Blackfeather went on to me there, if he got back in time, I don't have my boots up. So, Let's see if we could do something up here. There's really no point in going back to bot lane because if I go back to bot lane, I'm gonna have to extend so far for that wave. I know I'll die if I extend that far against a Blackfeather. Oh, they got that kill anyways. Let's try and push this turret. We should do that. Like, if I go bot and I go for that mini wave, I am dead for sure. So I'd much rather just help my other lanes out. We can easily get this turret. Like, the fortress is in mid. They're all in other lanes. I think the fortress is coming up right now, but we should be able to get this in time. Plus, we have three of us. We got Glaive here. Nice. Okay. Mm, we could fight this, honestly. If they're in the middle here... We can, all five of us can collapse on him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to head back bot now. Just pushing that wave in. I'll just cut through mid. Let's see if we can get this, actually. Oh, nice. Oh, dang. Oh, that's a nice hole. He actually hit the Baron. I would have gone on to that, but I need to get the spot wave. I can't go there yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand underneath my turret. I'm not gonna go for that. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, he's so dead. Oh, wait, no mind. We got Arden. Vanguard him. Nice, Vanguard. Okay. I didn't even see... Oh, dang. There's a fortress. Oh, now he's dead. Oh, are you serious? Am I really gonna have to waste Poots? No, oh, I could just ult him. That's a waste. Oh, wait. Oh, dang it. I just wasted my flask for energy and my ult. <laughs> I didn't even see Glaive there. I just saw Blackfeather start fighting somebody and I was like, oh, I guess they're fighting. Okay, I'm gonna push this wave in. Then I can start working towards my bone saw. Actually, I'm gonna go for chargers. Oh no, oh no. Ah, I am dead. Dead, 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 dead. I totally saw that coming. <laughs> that was exactly what I was talking about earlier. Like, I 
did exactly what I was saying I avoided earlier. I was caught with no boots after I got the kill and when Blackfeather came back. Rip, but there goes my bounty. I think that's worth a decent amount of gold. It's fun. Let's see where to now. Mm, I can head back to top, actually. I'll go up there. Vox is gonna try and get that turret, probably. Oh, I think he just wasted boots. This is a sure shot. <laughs> nice, okay. The lady was here too in case I didn't get that. Uh, Blackfeather's gonna- Oh, he's gonna get that bot There's no way I can get there in time. We should just keep on pushing. This is a- I'll take this trade, though. Like, trading a tier 1 bot turret to get- This turret is- I'll take it. Like, if I would've recalled and gone back to bot, that turret would've been gone anyways. There's no point in going down there. I'll go and grab the wave though. I doubt he's, he's playing a recall. Since we're all missing from the map now. Yep, he's gone. Oh gosh, I just missed those. But we're getting closer to our bone saw, and then once we get our bone saw and start working towards our monocle. That's when the damage starts coming out. The thing is, I'm not even that far ahead this match, too. If I would have gotten that bounty onto Fortress, but the Celeste got it, so that kind of sucks. If I would have gotten the bounty, though, I'd be have a nice lead. We'll see how much damage I do once I start getting some items. Yeah, I can actually keep on pushing this tier 2 turret down here. Because they killed the Black Feather, so nobody can really 1v1 me now. Six through the bullseye. Wait, let me take a quick seat. I'm kind of worried about this Fortress, because if Fortress shows up with like Vox or somebody, they might be able to kill me. Because Fortress has a speed boost and everything, but... I might just dip right after I get this. Okay, never mind. Vox is in top lane. And Fortress is somewhere else too. Okay, I can get my bones off finally. Now I'll start working towards my monocles. I'll be looking to infuse sometime soon too. Usually after two items is a good time to... Ooh, can I catch this Baron off guard? Nice, I got him. Got the mid turret too. It's good. There's CP buff as well if we want to get that. Yeah, looks like that's what our team's doing. Mm, is this Black Feather going to contest? No, he's not. He actually might be going for his healer. I can go and check that out. I'm gonna save up for an infuse now. Oh, dang, there is a black feather here. Where did he even come from? I didn't even see him go into that bush. <laughs> I was right next to that, too. Whoa, what's happening? Okay. That was weird. Hmm, they killed the black feather in mid. Nice. Actually, we can keep on pushing. If Glaive wants... Vox is in top lane, Baron is in mid. Oh, Fortress is here, dang. Uh, okay. I'm good. <laughs> Never mind, they're respawning. I don't think we can... Baron's missing too. Oh, Baron is going upwards, okay. I actually thought Baron was cutting through this way. I was thinking we could have caught him off guard if he was rotating on us. Let's see, I'm getting close to my infuse. I'm only a couple gold away. A couple hundred, or a couple. No, no, I got enough. I'll go and infuse, and now's about a good time to team fight. If we can team fight, get a kill or two, and then get a dragon, we'll be looking pretty good. Because their comp is definitely better in the like late, late game. Because Baron is crazy in the late game. So is Blackfeather. Like, Blackfeather's late game CP is so good. Ooh, if they can get that kill up there. I'm pretty sure they're getting rotated on, though. Yeah, the Lance and Baron are rotating. Oh, that's less got to chill. Oh, <laughs> they're so dead. 
Let's see if we could do something. We got three of us. Glaive is coming too, so is Arden. This is a 4v2, actually. Well, they have vision inside of there. Yeah, now <laughs> we overextended too far and then they overextended. Oh, wait. Dang, this guy's going for the 1v4. Oh, they're pushing bot lane. I got a dip. Oh, uh, minion. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't get the turret. I'll see if I can stop him. I don't want him to get that. Dang, he's gonna get it anyways. Ah, uh, stun him. Nice stun. Nice, we should be able to get him with that. And that was a really, really good stun by Celeste. That allowed me to land my slow. That was good. We can finally do dragon now. If our glaive comes, we can easily do this. Oh, okay, they want to get a CP buff first. That's fine. Whoops, yeah. Are they going to come for this? No? Okay, I guess they're just going to go for the fight. Well, I guess we'll try and kill him again. Dang, that was another really good stun. The Celeste is popping off. Okay, so I once thought that's fine. I'll just push with this. See if we can catch this Vox. Ooh, that was a good try. If he would have landed that, that would have been nice. I gotta watch out for this Black Feather again, though. This is weird because there's like all five of them. If they all go onto me, I doubt I can get out. Okay, we got Saw. Okay, all of us are here now. Ooh, that's a good. Vanguard, er, good ult by Orton. Oh gosh, I took a turret shot. I still got everything up though, I'm good. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, can I get this Baron? Nice. Okay. I should be able to get this guy. Oh dang, that damage is nice. See what I mean? See what I mean? Once you start working towards your monocles and you infuse and everything with Ringo, you do so much damage. Oh, please don't kill me. No. Focus somebody else. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> well, anyways. That should be game. Or is it? Dang, this fortress does damage. Okay. No, Black Feather's coming back. That is not game. Never mind. They're, I don't know why they're still farming up minions over there. <laughs> We finished with one monocle, we can start working towards our second one. That's kind of unfortunate that I took that turret shot there. I don't even know why I took the turret shot. Like, there's like four other people inside a turret range. But yeah, once you get to this stage of the game, Ringo does so much damage, even to tanks. Like, notice how whenever I'm attacking the lands, even. I deal so much damage. Okay, he wants this wave. I'll just grab ambient. I just want. Some gold at least. I'll help him clear a bit. <laughs> that wave clear is kind of satisfying with CP saw. One of my favorite things to clear waves with is Anka's B ability. Oh, he's totally dead. <laughs> Anka's B, like if you max it out and you get a little bit ahead, you could clear an entire mini wave with one ability. It's pretty nice. Hmm. Kinda wanna go and shop, but I think we're just gonna fight. Like my autos do so much damage even to tanks. But dang, this Celeste is going for it. Okay. Gotta watch out for Black Feather. They're gonna come. Oh, dang, they're fighting. <laughs> that is why we should have just stuck together and gone for dragon. Let's see if I can get him. Okay. Wait, the Arden got that kill with his Vanguard? Dang. Actually, what Arden could have done is if the Blackfoot had more health and he would have used on himself, 
it actually applies a slow onto the enemy, so. Let's see if we can catch somebody out. I need somebody with me, though. I need Arden or Asaw, just somebody else. I want to try and catch somebody out here. Okay, Arden's coming. Let's see if we can get this Baron. No, gosh, all over here. Oh, dang, I got out of that. Whoa, oh my gosh, what is that damage? Wait, that fortress just, like, demolished me. I thought I was safe. Dang, that was crazy. What is his build? Oh, dang, he actually has a lot of gold, too. That's a really strong build. Weapon Power Fortress has so much burst. It's really, really nice. And... This... Oh, can the Celestial play him? Nah. Hmm. I might have to give Fortress a shot sometime soon. Okay. That was a good idea, though. If, I had some, if we had a... If the Arden was with me earlier, or if the Sod came with us, we definitely could have gotten that kill. Because sometimes when it's late game and if you're heading stuff and there isn't really much to do, if you just head into the enemy jungle, like sit around in some bushes, stuff like that, you can usually catch somebody off guard. Honestly, I was thinking I would have gotten Vox, because I was thinking Vox would have gone up for the wave or jungle or something, but <laughs> for some reason the Baron, I think the Baron, yeah, the weapon Baron's weapon power, so he's going for weapon power buff. That's why he was there. Oh gosh, yeah, I'ma just... I can actually deal some nice damage to this guy. Oh, that damage is so nice. Look how much my autos do to a tank. It's crazy. I can do this. Mm. I feel like they're wrapping around to this side. Oh my gosh, they're all there. Okay, we're gonna have to fight this one out. Nice, okay. I think we can end with this now. I didn't even have to waste anything. Like, I still have my boots block. Everything up. Flask up, too. Oh, is he gonna land it this time? Oh, that Vox just dipped. Whoa. Oh, is this gonna be a god play? Oh, if he would've landed the afterburn towards me, that would've been amazing. Can't kill him. Side of base. Jeez, that damage. Oh my gosh. I just like four shot in that Vox. Yeah. Ringo is definitely a super strong character once you get your items. And especially if you get ahead. Like, I wasn't even that far ahead for most of the match. I only got ahead in the late game once I started to get some kills. But, anyways, that's gonna be about it for this match. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what heroes you all wanna see next. And share with your friends. That's going to be about it for this video. Subscribe for more Vanglory content and see y'all next time.